Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Well, today's a pretty special day. We're going to do something a little different. So, what's up, Jackson Jay? How you what's doing, up? man? So, we're together. You see Gatorade in the background. We, uh, we're out here at one of our private lakes, and it looks beautiful. Um, and it's about 65 acres or so, so we get the big boat in here. Uh, one of our early videos, we've been out here a couple times, but we wanted to do that again. Uh, it's also Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. I hope you're out there doing something good and fun with the family. Uh, the rest of our crew will be out here in a little bit. But uh, hey, we were like, you know what? Let's just film a little bit. We'll see if we can go out and find some of these big ones out here. Sound yeah. good? Yeah. We'll put a few catches. Won't be a long video, but hey, we just want to say hey, happy Father's Day, and thanks for all your support and your subscribes and all the new ones and the old ones, and we just appreciate all y'all. So we're going to get out here. Um, morning's 80 degrees and it's beautiful and we're gonna have a little breeze I think which is gonna be great yeah um, so hey thanks for joining we'll get out there we'll see you here in a little bit and what are we gonna do today catch fish okay here we go okay hey, so a bunch of hydrilla grass out here we're gonna start with some grass early morning it's about 7 30 it's not early but we're out here I'm gonna start with this little scum frog man let's see what happens what are you throwing Jack's throwing a walking bait Okay. Okay, so Jackson came up with an idea. He wants to get a little competition going. He said, whoever catches the most fish and the biggest fish, all right, um, that's the comp. We're not gonna put all of our catches in there. We'll just try to focus on the bigger ones if we find them. Um, let's do this. If I beat you, you gotta play at Brindley for two hours, the day I choose. And if you beat me, I'll take the trash out for you for three weeks. Okay. Deal? <laughs> it's going on. He's going down. Where are you going down? Let's this go. Cat, this cat. Right oh, you want me to leave it live? Let's see what you get. Well, we got that. We'll have to put it on the Bubba scale. You're on the spot right now, man. Is there any out there? Yeah. <laughs> I have my phone in my pocket. I wasn't really going to do that, though. I just had a bite, too. Yeah, on your arm. We switched to uh, plastic baits. Yeah. We're out here in deeper water. Switch it up a little bit. That's my bite. Okay, striking out on the first cast. See? You're saying I got a chance. See? Yeah, here we go. That's what he's throwing. Pretty cool looking. All right, there's his number one. So he's on the board with number one. I got to get busy. There we go. Stay on. Get my number one in. Jackson's got, he's got two right now. This is my number one. We'll put our first few catches on and then we'll probably focus more on the bigger ones or whatever. Uh, another, you know, 13, 14 ouncer. We're thinning them out. Trying to thin them out. Oh, in the ton. Okay, I gotta. Oh man, I gotta pay attention to that when I'm not in frame. Sorry about that. Um, okay, let me work on this guy. All right, we got a little bait ball going. See if we can get a few bites here. I bet you get one, dude. Yep. In a boy. Square bill up in here. If I get him in a boat, it'll be three to two. Ah, oh, they're getting bigger. Come on, buddy. I'm helping you. Got one. You get you another one? Yep. How am I going to keep up with you, boy? Four to two. Four to two. Here, put down the live well for me. Please. Switch to your square bill? Yeah. Okay. Phew. I'm losing time. He got my worm. Bait ball, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's a pretty big bait ball. The shad look pretty healthy, too. Oh. Didn't they? Oh. I'm gonna switch to my swim bait. You got the square bill? I'm gonna go swim bait. I'm taking my time, you know. I want you to have a chance today, son. <laughs> Did you get one? Yep. Shoot. 
Okay, man, we are having problems with this GoPro voiceover again. So I'm going to hop in here and kind of narrate this. Jackson just caught number six or seven, I think. He's whooping my booty already. Um, I tell you, this boy loves fishing. So he's still fishing that little creature bait. Uh, I think here in a minute he switches to a square bill, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's pretty pumped. So again, we're putting him in the live well. We're trying to thin some of the smaller fish out of the lake. That's what we're doing there. Um, we have another little pond that's close to us. It's about a five acre pond that we release them to and they're good to go. Um, so yeah, the competition's heating up. Look, he's going, he's getting another one already. And, uh, man, I, I seriously think it's a seven or eight or something like that. And, uh, man, he's doing a pretty good job so far. So as he's fishing in the background there, I'm just going to kind of give, share a couple tips that I, I find, um, useful uh, as I have time to do it. So when you're summer bass fishing, look for shade. Bass will often seek out shaded areas to escape the heat and pretty much conserve energy. Target docks, trees, other overlaying structures, as well as areas of dense grass, floating vegetation. Um, also in the heat of the summer, fish deeper water. Uh, as the day heats up, bass may retreat to deeper, cooler water um, to get away from that sun. Um, as you know, some of the best types of lures I like to throw in the summer, uh, spinner bait, you know, lipless crankbait, skirted jigs, top water for sure. Frogs are good. Plastic worms, as you see, we've been using this bait. We're also using square bill. Uh, live bait, if you can get away with it. Live bait's always good too. Um, so just some final thoughts. And then I think the video comes back in uh, normal voice here in a minute. But, uh, you know, bass are most active around dusk and dawn during the summer. So morning or night, uh, whenever the sunlight is reaching which puts puts them at an advantage over most prey. So the cooler water temperatures in the early morning or late evening will spike the prey and the bass activity, in my, my opinion uh, and experience. Uh, look for, you know, transition points. Um, for example, look for sudden drop-offs with deeper water, heavy cover, brush piles, or even current. You know, if you watch my Mogi the other day, my Mogi um, fishing trip, I, I found the current and found some bass. So largemouth usually congregate in shady spots to cool off. Uh, just remember that. If there aren't any shallow shaded areas for the fish to gang up in, you may have to head deeper. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, another tip, keep the bait in the strike zone longer when summer summer fishing. When the water gets hotter or colder than usual, there's less oxygen in the water, which slows down the metabolism of the bass, uh, which means less energy. Therefore, it's pretty essential to slow down your retrieve and keep the bait in the strike zone longer for a better chance at a bite. Um, you know, bigger baits sometimes catch bigger fish, but some of the biggest fish have been caught on the smallest baits. Remember that. All right. So I will tell you this, if, if you're fishing deeper spots, brush piles and stuff, just be prepared, uh, be prepared to get hung up and lose some tackle. Um, this is kind of why I'd like to find those shaded shallow areas first. Cause man, I'm notorious for losing those baits and man, they are getting expensive. That is for sure. Um, you know, so match the hatch, uh, match the hat, use a bait, um, that the local bass would naturally be eaten. Um, that's a big one when it comes, you know, and again, when it comes to size, uh, just match the hatch. I mean, you could, the brim, you know, the, the perch, the brim and shad or other bait fish are generally larger in size in the summer cause they're grown up. So just match the hatch, um, and consider a smaller bait. I think the video is coming back live. That counts. All right, this is my fish number five. To my I, fish number 12. And I wanted to show you, this is actually a small perch compared to some of the perch we pull out of here. But man, aren't they beautiful? Look at the colors on that. I think they're just so cool, man. All right, so it's five to 12. Jackson's whooping up on old dad, but it's not over. It's not over until the end of the day. I'm gonna look for that six, seven pounder. And I'll take a three. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get back to it. We'll leave it going. Um, we'll leave it going on this uh, fish catching challenge. Who catches the most? And then we'll slow it down. Um, I switch back, we're back in heavy grass. So I switch back to my Texas rig worm electric grape right here and guys when you rig a texas rig i'm sure all y'all know how to do that by now okay uh, especially in heavy grass the hook point right here um, i like to hide the tip of that and it just helps it come through the grass without getting just hung up comes through smoother 
Um, let them eat it, you know, make sure you get the hook set in there. Uh, but even that perch got it. So it's definitely uh, doable. All right. Slammed it. Did it? Uh, and I just missed one, darn it. Got my hook. All right, so guys, Four. I'll throw that one back. 14. Uh, Jax is at number 14. I'm at seven or six. It's seven. So 14 to seven. Stomach. This guy's healthy. Yeah. Been eating that shad. It's a good one. Not bad. So number 14 on the BX rack. He's about to get me on the quantity portion. We'll leave it live for a minute. See what happens. I'm getting a lot of bites. I'm just not capitalizing. Fishing like a dingus up in here. My name's Bo Jangles and I have no fear. Can you do a good job for me, dear? I love fishing with you on the Father's Day. Happy ya. All right. Happy ya. Happy ya. <laughs> All right. So, you know, you always got to remember to have fun. And, you know, we'll get this little comp part out and then we'll focus, like I said, on the bigger ones. We don't want to bore y'all too much. All right, I'm getting by. Let's see if I can. It's a perch. Darn it. Is it? Yeah, it's like. I had a, a bass like that earlier. Oh, whatever, man. You're so crazy. That I've caught 10 or so on the BX Brat, and you're still not switching. Top down, summer in the city. I'm ready for you to beat me on this part of it real quick, man. Everybody here is rooting for you. Let's go, Maynard. Pressure's on. Under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Did you get him? You got him? Gets it in the boat. Jackson got number 15. Get in the boat. All right. Good job on the first part, bud. High fives. I'll beat you on the second High five. Part. Are you going to beat me on the second part, too? I'm try. Time to get serious. Okay. So, the first part of the deal was whoever gets the 15 first wins the first part. Good job, Jax. Now. And it's me. Way to go, man. I can That's literally a... eat this guy. <laughs> so now we're looking for the big ones. So, you know, we're going to slow the video down a little bit. If we see something yeah. cool or awesome, we'll show you. Uh, man, thanks for joining. Just a little Father's Day special yeah. here for all y'all. All right, put him in there. Let's go. Okay, guys, Jackson's hooked up with a good one on the glide bait. Okay, you guys. Uh, you know, I know this is Broke Bow's bass fishing. But look, we like all fish, and I want, I should have taken this off the hook first, but that's okay. This has to be one of, okay guys. This has to be one of the prettiest perch I've ever caught. I'm not even kidding. Look at that. Look at that thing. Look at the colors on this thing. Look at how fat it is. Healthy, healthy. Got a um turtle in his belly or something. But man, isn't that awesome? They're fun to catch. Okay, we're still looking for some bigs. Hang with us and uh, we'll see what happens. What's up everybody? <laughs> Today we're riding on the boat. Today, so I got my other buddy with me out here finally. Little Brim Brim. She already said, what's up everybody? How's your day going, girl? Good. You doing good? You got your water? Yeah. All right. So we've just been kind of hanging out. Um, midday fishing you know we haven't jackson had a good one on and uh it broke him off tried to net him at the boat is 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 a five plus it took off and it just snapped the line like yeah the just snapped it that happens but i wanted to, my other buddy wanted to say hey and uh you know we'll catch a big one then probably wrap this up i appreciate y'all getting in here uh you know kind of here's an idea of what we're fishing um you know just 
just just love it out here. Um, oh, Dad, we should when when you're ready to go fast, put my drink in one of those gubby things. Oh, when we go fast, put it in the cup holder. Uh -huh. Okay, we can do that. No, 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 no. And one of those cubbies. Oh, in the cubbies. Uh -huh. Okay, we can do that, girl. So it won't fly out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so we'll get back. Hopefully, find a big one out here for y'all, yeah. and then we'll. Yeah. Fifty-two. Fifty-two, and yeah. Not to get a grass carp, huh? <laughs> so we've totally changed to wade fishing. We're on a little hump out here and it's working out in the bud. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody in the water fishing? There we go. Holla. When it's hot, you know. Okay, not the classic any we wanted. Um, had some boat trouble. Gay Rena, man, I'm telling you. Um, she kind of pooted on us today. We're gonna to have to figure it out. We're having a little bit of engine problems. That's not good as a boat. <laughs> Couldn't get her started. Uh, we'll we have had to... to push the boat up on the trailer. Yeah, but you know, it happens. That's part of having toys and having fun, right? Can't always be fun. Uh, yeah. But I did have fun. Yeah, thank too. you for coming fishing with me. Y'all saw Father's Day. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to everybody. And uh, well, thanks for joining. You know, just a fun little short video. And uh, we'll catch you on next time. Gotta get Gatorina, ah, horsefly. And uh, we'll go. All right, finish this off, son. Peace. <laughs> All right. Robo out. Jackson J out. See ya.